Hey you guys, wow, it has been like a time warp. It's been a while since I've been on here and um, I thought I'd pop on because conventions are coming up if you're in the network marketing space. There's actually like a ton of events that are happening right now, um, both for like generic events, team conventions, company conventions, team retreats, things like that. And I was having a conversation um, earlier with a couple of uh, team members of, on my team and we were chatting about this and you know, I've had a lot of experience in network marketing on both sides of the fence so I get it and I'm gonna give you guys some tough love if you're like on the leadership side um, or maybe in corporate, I'm sorry, I don't wanna ruffle any feathers but here's the thing. So like um, conventions coming up, there's something that happens this time of year and I feel like probably more than any other time of year, this starts to happen to people in network marketing. Um, and if you're in direct sales, this is applicable to you too, like if you're doing home parties and things like that. And I just, I wanna encourage you guys, this is, um, this is gonna be a little bit of tough love, but this is, gonna, this is gonna speak to you. If you have not hit the top rank of your company yet, um, it will also speak to you if you are a leader and you want to get a positive but a little bit of tough love kick in the pants to some team members who kind of just need some encouragement and empowering um, motivation. So feel free to hit the share button, um, push the little love hearts and stuff like that, push this into your team pages because I feel like this will probably help a lot, especially if your team, if your company right now is gearing up for like conventions and things like that. This is something that I'm serious, y'all. Like 20 years I have seen this happening and this is like before social media and all of these things. So just a quick message to those of y'all who have not hit your ranks or your goals or whatever's yet, a couple things. Um, I feel like the biggest mistake that a lot of people make when they've been in network marketing so that you join, right? You, you get started, you hit the promoter button and you're like, yeah, I'm, I'm super excited. And you order your kit or whatever, your products, and you get started, and the first couple of weeks, you're, you're like super on fire, right? You go do all the things, you talk to all the people, and you're you're really excited. It's like that, that uh, adrenaline is taking over your brain, <laughs> right? And you're on fire, but something happens when you have a goal, like you've reached it, so like maybe it's a fast start bonus, maybe, you wanted to hit a certain level of your company um, by a certain date, right? Like your sponsors, your leaders are like, ooh, write it down, write down the date along with your goal and da da da. Well, what the heck happens when you don't hit it? What happens? What happens if you don't hit the rank at the time that you said you wanted to hit it? What happens if you don't earn the bonus that you told everybody you were gonna earn? I'm talking to you. I'm not talking to the superstars who did all the things and won all the awards and prance on the stages. I'm not talking to them. I'll talk to them in just a second. I'm talking to you. If you're the person who has not hit your rank yet that you're going for, you didn't hit the bonus, you're not going to walk the stage, you didn't earn the trip. I'm talking to you. The news flash, the reality is that's a majority of the people in network marketing. Did y'all know that? You know, they say like 90% of people in network marketing are at the lowest levels before they even earn income. That's kind of, that's just every industry to be honest. Like that's actually real estate too. Like if you get a real estate license, news flash, not everybody who has a real estate license sells a house. Y'all know that? Like it's just entrepreneurialism in general. But for those of y'all in network marketing, you're coming up on conventions and your leaders and your CEOs and all that kind of stuff are gonna be like, register and you need to get to convention and all that kind of stuff. And I know personally from the heart, I know what it feels like to have kind of like on one shoulder, it's like, yes, you need to get to convention because all the things happen there and you know, leaders learn and all these things, right? Like all this magic happens at convention. I understand. I desperately understand the feeling of, dude, I'm not making money yet. Why would I spend money to go to a convention, right? I'm not gonna be on stage. I'm not getting an award. Why do I have to go to the convention? Here's what I wanna tell you guys. If you haven't had the opportunity yet to hit that goal, you need to be a convention. Hold on before you turn off my video because you're like, nope, listen, listen, okay. 
if you have gone to a convention, I'll use my own personal story as an example. I have been to conventions where I'm the one walking the stage, getting the awards, my name on the little thing behind the screen behind me like 15 times and winning the trips and receiving the ruby rings and all, all I've been on that stage, right? I've also been at conventions where I'm excited and I'm sitting with my row of our team and we're excited and we're writing in our little our journals like the date we're gonna hit our goals and the date we're gonna rank up and all this kind of stuff. And it's usually like by the next convention, I'll be this, right? And then it didn't happen. So you're like, well, all right, so I'm going to go to this next convention and I didn't do the thing that I said I was gonna do at the last convention, but I'll go to this convention and then I'm gonna hear something that's gonna make it work and like some kind of miraculous download is gonna come into my brain and like come out, <laughs> right? And then you go to that convention and you do all the things and you cheer and you're next to all your people in the row and you take all the notes and you write it down. You write down the new date, right? You cross off last year's date and you write the next date. I'm gonna hit this rank by this date. It's usually by next convention. Well, what happens if it doesn't happen then either? Here's the thing. That's when a lot of people, I'm gonna venture to say like, and just in just going through this for so long on both sides, corporate and the field, I would venture to say about 75% of the people in that convention, in that arena, like our company, we have like 20,000 people in our conventions, like sitting in the audience. I would venture to guess probably about 70% of them are the ones writing their goals down, hoping and praying that they hear some kind of something that they can take home and have something happen in their business and they haven't gotten there yet. They haven't hit that top rank yet. They haven't gotten to their income goal yet. And those people, probably like you, are sitting there having to make a decision like, what the heck should I do? Do I go to the next convention? Should I just toss this whole idea in the trash can? What do I do? The, the pitfall that a lot of you guys will probably see either yourselves or your team members falling into is really, really common. That's what I wanted to talk to you guys about because this is coming up and this is like on the brains of a lot of people right now because a lot of times like conventions are usually in the summer, the tickets start selling now, your teams and your corporate teams are starting to talk about it now, ramping you up and these are the pitfalls, okay? that you might be doing if you haven't reached your income level yet, you haven't hit that rank yet. The first thing, the first thing you need to like, and you're gonna have to like audit yourself, no one is going to come into your office and look through your phone and look through your computer and like slap your hand and say, you need to stop doing this. Like you have to, you have to hold yourself personally responsible for some things, right? But the very first thing that I see that starts to happen that kind of creates this ripple effect in a negative way, like it's kind of like falling down the rabbit hole, as you start comparing yourself. You might go to a convention and you see the same Susie Jones walking the stage again, getting her award, same award she got last year. And you see Bobby Joe and he's walking that stage again and ooh, look at him hug the CEO. And it's that same guy every time. And like, oh, here comes Millie Vanilli and they're walking the stage and you see them every single time. And then, and then you're sitting there and you're comparing yourself, what you've done or what you haven't done yet to what you're seeing on the screen, on the awards, in the backdrop, the award, the engraving on the award and all the microphone and all that kind of stuff. And you're sitting there clapping, of course, hello. You're probably standing up and clapping, yeah. But inside, it's like killing you, dang it. Like good for them. But on the same time, what the heck, dude? Why not me? Why didn't I do that? Why can't I do that? What's wrong with me? Or let's go deeper, shall we? Let's go deeper. Um, okay, so quick, w before I go deeper, I wanna know if you guys are watching live, so say hi, because sometimes I can't even see if you guys are watching. I see the number up there, but I can't see you unless you say something, so say hi. Uh, do a little hearts thing, share this out to your teams, because I'm gonna give you guys some tough love in a second, and I'm probably gonna be talking to some leaders too, so um, share this out, especially if on your Facebook, if you have people who are in network marketing, direct sales, just entrepreneurialism in general, um, share this, because I think that'll probably be valuable, and you always wanna share good stuff, good content, um, and this is gonna be one of those things. Hey, Vicki, hey. Okay, you guys, awesome. 
So let's go deeper down the rabbit hole, shall we? So you go, you're sitting there and you're like cheering, but inside you're like, dang it, what is wrong with me? Then something happens to where it takes kind of like this weird, you know, there's a, there's a, there's an emphasis, right? Why not me? Or why not me? There's an emphasis, right? One, why not me? Like you're seeing that person on the stage, receiving that award, doing it in record time. You know, uh, they were able to leave their corporate job if they chose to, they got a new car, like they paid off their debt, whatever, like all this stuff. And you're like, man, you're using that as inspiration. Why not me? If they can do that, why not me? It's achievable. They did this on the same comp plan that I have, the same promoter opportunity that I have, they bought the same kit that I have, they have the same replicated website that I have, why not me? Emphasis. Or, why not me? You can use it as, why her? Ew. She spams her social media. Ew. Like, look at her hair, right? It's kinda like Becky with the big butt, or <laughs> whatever, right? You're like, ugh, why that person? Why not me? Oh, he cheats. He totally games the system. He cheats. Oh, why not me? Because that person, I know what they did and what he said and what they do and what he is. And when he's BFF with the CEO and ugh, why him? Why not me? Do you see the difference? Why not me? It's the same why not me. As you're sitting there, haven't achieved your goals yet, I want you to keep something in mind. You have to stop looking sideways. Do y'all remember, was it the Olympics? I'm so not a sports person, but do y'all remember the Olympics when, oh crap, somebody save me. Who's the swimmer? Michael Phelps. This, okay, do y'all remember? He's swimming and swimming and swimming, right? He's a super fast swimmer. He's got his eyes like on his own lane. The guy next to him, I don't remember his name, but the guy next to him was also in his own lane Swimming, great swimmer, hello, Olympic athlete, all of the things, right? Do you know why he lost? Do you know what would have helped him swim faster? He lost seconds, milliseconds, because he kept looking to see what Michael Phelps was doing. Y'all have to correct me if I'm totally blowing this and getting the sports names wrong. My husband's going to be like, wow, you're dumb. Okay, so like looking to the side, right? Looking to the side. What's so-and-so doing? Oh, what's my upline doing? Ugh, my downline isn't doing enough. Ugh, that cross-line person, well, they're spammy and they're hacking the system and they're cheating and they're friends with the CEO and they get special things and whatever. Every single time you look to the side, comparing, judging, casting, whatever, like, ugh, kind of stuff, side to side, every moment, every single second that you do that, you know what you're not doing? You're not growing your own business. You're not. It doesn't do anything. It literally does not do anything. So if you're doing that on social media and you're scrolling and you're looking at sidelines, downline, your upline, what the CEOs are doing, what people in other businesses are doing, hello, that has nothing to do with you. If you're looking anywhere but your own business and your own team, your own personal activity, that's really what matters. If you're looking at anything other than that, you're just slowing down. I'm not saying you won't ever get there, but dude, you'll be so much slower. It's like putting resistance. That's all it's doing. So the whole thing about comparing and all of that is you cannot focus on anything else. And here's the thing, I'm gonna say, you know, I'll say if you're looking at anything other than your own team, I'm gonna say that with caution too. You can't just look at your team. You can't, I know a lot of people <laughs> who, when I ask them how their business is going, their first response is, well, my team's not really growing. I mean, we slid backwards. We're not really growing. You know, I'm really, um, I'm really hoping that somebody catches fire and that they'll go to convention and they'll, they'll catch a spark and that they'll do something. Well, my team isn't really producing very much. Well, so-and-so quit. So, you know, there's that. How many times have you heard that? How many times have you thought that? Uh, listen, 
you're human. So it's going to happen, right? You you just have human tendencies. However, I want to challenge you to look at your own calendar, look at your own notes, decide, okay, what have I actually done? I was sharing with my team earlier on a Zoom, like, would you hire you if you were a CEO of a major brand, a major company, and you were looking for a promoter, a sales representative, okay? If you were looking to hire someone, if that person came to you as the CEO of a billion dollar brand, and they said, I really wanna work for you, I wanna promote your brand, I wanna grow your company. And then they handed you a resume. And on that person's resume was exactly what you have personally done to grow your business today. Not how many training Zooms you did with your team, scratch those off, those don't count. Not how many calls you did with for your team for their prospects, that does not count. How many people did you personally reach out to today? How many people did you personally follow up with today? How many new customers did you help place an order today? How many new promoters did you enroll and help get them started today? And repeat and repeat. Those are the things that matter. All the other stuff doesn't count. So if you had this resume handed to you and the only thing that was on it was what you personally did today in your business, would you hire you? I mean, ouch, right? A lot of us would be fired. A lot of us would be like booted out the door. Uh, you're not qualified, sorry. Like we're a brand that takes our stuff seriously. We actually wanna grow, you know? <laughs> uh, no, like you don't do anything. Like you scroll social media and okay, you know a lot. Like you know a lot about personal development and all this kind of guru stuff and you teach social media and you know all the things, but like you're not doing anything that actually grows a business. So no, we don't want you to work for our company. The cool thing about network marketing is that nobody does that to you, right? You have no barrier to entry. You can come in and be like, I'm all that. And nobody's going to be breathing down your neck saying, uh, you're not doing jack, you're fired. Like get out of here. Like that doesn't happen. The downside of network marketing is that that doesn't happen <laughs> because you yourself need to hold yourself responsible for your own personal activities. So being that it's convention time, I want you like leading up to convention. Yes, you need to go to convention. However, one of the other little pitfalls, the rabbit hole, okay, is that whether it's a convention ticket and like airfare and all this kind of stuff to like get yourself to convention or whether it's a book that you spent $3.99 on or a course or like maybe you took a class that's like $20 or $200 or whatever. Maybe you went to a seminar. None of that worth is worth it. None of it is worth it. If all you're gonna do is sit in the audience and clap, well, there's Millie Vanilli. Oh, there's Bobby Jones. Oh, again. And you get all the, and, oh, even if you're like taking all these notes and you scribble every word down and you're like doodling and you're drawing pictures, and you're like, I am the top ring. I am all this da 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 da. And you do all that stuff. And then when you get home, you put your book away and it sits there and you do nothing. Do you know what you just did? You just wasted time and money, both of them. You just wasted it. You might as well have been home like catching up on Netflix. Seriously, if you're gonna go, but you're not going to take action, if you're going to go, but you're not gonna implement, if you're gonna go and you're gonna sit there with like a, oh, he cheats and he scams and ugh, did you hear what he did? And did you see what he posted? If you're gonna do all that crap, like all that nonsense, don't even go. Because the majority of the people in the audience are just like everyone else. They just started at the same place. They have the same website. They have the same opportunity. They have the same comp plan. The ones who are on the stages, the ones that you see their names in lights, they're just the ones that came home and took action. That's it. That's literally the only difference. You know what the difference was? The difference was the emphasis. They didn't sit there and say, why not me? They sat there inspired with stars in their eyes and they said, why not me? Why not me? I could do that. If they could do that, I could do that. <laughs> I could do that. You guys, it's all the same. 
Here's the other thing, and I want to talk, these, this is just for those of you who haven't hit your rank yet, especially to those of you who are like, you've been at this for a while. Like, you've been at this for a, a while, okay? Like a year, two years, four years, maybe more. I'm talking to you. So, like, leaders who are at top rank, blah, 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 right? I'm talking to those of you who sit there at every convention and you take all the notes and you're still inspired and you're still grinding and you're still doing the thing. And maybe you're like me. I enroll on average one new person into my business or as a customer every single week without fail, four years straight, actually like 20 years straight, but whatever. Without fail, I'm doing it. Not the top rank yet, you guys. I'm not the top rank in my company. I want to tell you the same thing I put in my own mind every single day if I have to 10 times a day who freaking cares how long it takes do you believe in your company do you believe in the product that you have to offer are people winning does this inspire you when people win do you want to help other people win if the answer is yes to all of those things who cares if it takes 10 years? Who cares if it takes 20 years? Progress is progress. Forward is forward. Some people are going to do it faster. Do you know why? Because some people, when they join, they've built up equity somewhere else. Maybe they were the chairman of their community homeowners association. And they've got a lot of people who know them and love them and trust them already. Oh, it's my first month in network marketing ever. Okay, but what'd you do before? They've built up equity somewhere. Everyone has a story and everyone has a starting place, including you. If you're not there yet, this is just part of your story. You're still building equity. So why in the world do people quit before they get there? Why? Because they get impatient. Because they compare, ugh, so-and-so's doing it, and Nelly Vanilli's doing it, and Bobby Jones is doing it, and Susie Q's doing it, and why not me? That's when they get discouraged and disgruntled, and then they spin out into all kinds of stuff that your brain does about why, and justifications, and all this kind of stuff. The only thing you have to focus on is keeping the main thing the main thing. Do you believe it? Are you excited about it? Do you want to be a part of it? If the answer is yes, who cares how long it takes? Who cares if it takes longer than the date that you wrote on your journal sitting at convention? Who cares? Yes, you want to move forward and keep swimming and like be that Olympic athlete, right? Keep forward. Stop looking sideways at this guy and that guy. You want to keep going. You need to do the right things though. Taking action, focusing on your own income producing activities. Don't get lost in the deep end of personal development. There's a whole lot of really smart people that are super personal developed, but they're not doing jack in their business. Sorry, but not sorry. They're not doing the things. They've read all the books and they've taught all the seminars and they're now coaches and all this kind of stuff. You guys, but their actual production, they're not enrolling one person per week. They're probably not even enrolling one person per month. If they're lost in the land of personal development, a lot of them spend too much time doing that and they're not doing the thing. If you are doing the things that you know you need to be doing, then it's not an if you will get there. It's not an if you will hit your goal or an if, if you'll hit your rank or if, if you'll ever get a chance to walk the stage or so your CEO will see you and recognize you and know your name and want to take a picture with you. It's not if, it's when. And if you know it's going to happen eventually, when, does it really matter if it's not this year, if it's not next year, but if at some point it happens? Because what's on the other side of that? Why do you want to do it in the first place? Residual income, paying off your debt, paying off your home, Making it to where if you have some debilitating illness that if you are out of work for two years straight, like a girlfriend of mine is currently right now, that that residual income will literally save your butt. If that happens, would you really have cared if it took an extra few years to make it happen? No, you're not even going to think about it. You're not even going to think about it. You're not going to tell that part. Oh, I'm just super glad as I'm cashing this check that, you know, I'm, I'm really bummed that it took an extra five years. Dude, you're never going to say that. 
you're gonna be writing that check to pay off your mortgage or whatever and be like, I'm just so glad I freaking stuck to it and didn't quit. Like most people back there do. Most people quit. Here's the thing I'll leave you guys with. Do it the right way. Just do it the right way. If that means something different to everybody, do it with integrity. Do it with integrity. If you really want to be a brand ambassador for your company and for your product, and to walk that stage with your head held high and your shoulders back. Do it with integrity because when it happens, you need to know that you did it the right way, that you brought some people with you, that you led with your heart, that you put in the same hustle that is required, but you led with your heart and that you inspired people to feel, why not me? Why not me? I love you guys and I hope this inspired you. Hit the share button and share it with your teams if it did. I appreciate you guys. If you caught this on replay, let me know below and I will see you guys on another video. Love you guys. Stick to it. Don't give up. Don't look sideways. I'll see you guys next time. Bye, y'all.